you know, I think that it's possible for people to be um, in college and have people, uh, even in their living environment, who are positive, who have been quarantined, and other people remain negative. And so I, I think um, in my own personal life, I've learned that the importance of social distancing for these college students cannot be underestimated. And those college students who do wear a mask and do social distance and don't go out to parties and all the others uh, can stay negative. Um, and the ones who think it's not going to happen to them, um, you know, they, they get sick and some get very sick. Um, and, and it's, I think, been an eye-opening, um, just eye-opening. And there's tragic cases we've seen recently of healthcare workers, young healthcare workers getting sick and dying. And so I can't say enough um, to the young people uh, to, to take this seriously, very, very seriously, um, because, you know, even if you don't get sick, you don't want to get your grandmother sick. Yeah. And I think you bring up an, another important point, which is that I think a lot of times people might feel, um, they might let their guard down because they think I'm young and healthy and I'm not symptomatic. And the people I'm hanging out with are young and healthy and they're not symptomatic. So what are the chances really of getting it? But I think what some people don't realize is about two thirds of people, two thirds of the cases are acquired from people who have no symptoms. So this is very infectious the day or two before having symptoms. Um, so in the pre-symptomatic state, and then even people who are infected and never develop symptoms who are asymptomatic can transmit to others. So two thirds of infections are for people who appear outwardly, they appear healthy. So that's why it's important not to let your guard down, um, even if people do appear healthy.